Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video on how to make Lance Sterling when he got transformed into a pigeon. That's such a fun movie. We just saw it and we really, really liked it. And if you want to watch that movie, we would recommend it because um, it's worth it. It's so funny. You'll love it. So, to make the pigeon, you want to make like an avocado shape for the body and the head. And then you can start blending in the different colors of him as a pigeon. I'm adding a little white highlight around the head and the side of the body. Now we're going into the darker colors. And I have a little thin brush to sweep up the color so I will blend in seamlessly with the teal color. And now we have the darker gray color. And then I'm going to go back again with my little fine brush to blend that up into the blue color. And then a little bit more white for highlights there. I'll just bring the white all the way down. If you saw this movie, leave a comment and tell us if you liked it. We thought it was really, really good. And if you're thinking about seeing it but not sure if you'll like it, we're pretty positive that this movie is likable for any age. It's really entertaining. So this is, I'm just using a little dry brush here to help blend the colors a little bit more. I'm only working with about five paint brushes here. And now, we're gonna start getting into the face details. I have to add a little bit more white. And blue to blend them. I'm trying to get the colors to really match how Lance Sterling looked in the movie as a pigeon. And now's the fun part. We get to do the eyes. This I'm laying a little dark blue and black for the inside of the eye. And then we have to make the white part really thick and very solid white. Now I'm working on the beak and the beak is the hardest part of this painting in my opinion because we have to show all the sides of the beak and make it look like it's facing forward with a little shadow on one side instead of looking like we just painted on a little yellow triangle. Now we are working on the eyes, so we have to put two layers of white. So after we're done with one eye, we'll move to the other side, and then we'll switch back. This way we, get it, we give the paint just a little time to dry in between layers. Just to save time, I didn't show me blending my paint, but on half of the top beak, I'm putting a, a tad bit darker yellow. And now we have to add a little black part right there for the mouth. And I'm just defining that little white part over the beak with a little black.
and add just a little touch of white on the beak for a little highlight and to define the shape of the beak it goes really pointy at the tip We can't forget that cute little bow. Now we're going to paint the pupils and around the pupil, it doesn't really show too good on film. It's just a little bit of yellowish brown and it doesn't show up too well here that I'm doing that. And I have a little tip, we're going to use the back of our paintbrush to dip it in the white so we can place two little tiny white dots perfectly on the eyes. I hope your painting is looking really good so far and leave a like on this video if you think I'm doing a good job on showing you how to paint Lance Sterling as a pigeon. Okay, so now I'm just making this white type of half rectangle there so I can make the wing and the tail. And I added that so it will give me a little color separation so I can tell the difference of what part is what and it doesn't look like one flat color going across everything. And I have some really nice silver paint to add a little silver stripes into the tail and if you go to Michaels if you know this craft store named Michaels they have this really nice nice paint this really beautiful silver and gold and it's in the back of their toy section by their slimes and some kids toys and it's just a dollar and you get a, a big back Now it's time to paint the clothes around Lance Sterling to make it look like he just got transformed into a pigeon and he's sitting inside of the neck part of his white shirt with the bow tie and the wrinkled up arm sleeves around him. Okay, we just put all that white around him, but now we have to add some black for shadows that will be created on the inside of the shirt. Now it's time to paint the big black bow tie and I'll just add a little silver highlight in the bow tie later on. Okay, so I made the collar a little too round so it's time to bring it down because it will really go down into two points. So that's why I'm extending that and adding some more white paint. 
and the same on the other side I'm blending out some of that black as well so it's not too harsh Now I'm going to paint the jacket sleeves and they're all wrinkled up around Lance Sterling as a pigeon. And I accidentally dropped the black spot of paint there, but I'll fix that later on. Now I'm going to paint the arm sleeves and that's this is the easiest part because you just can make like a wiggly squiggly line all around and fill it in with black. I'm sorry that I didn't film properly on top so you can see what I'm doing up there, but I added a little white for the cuffs of the sleeves. Now I'm going back with my finer brush and I'm just adding some ridges and to make the clothes look more wrinkled, I'm adding more bumps and more wrinkles. So here is my finished work, I hope you like it.
Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Leave a comment if you're going to try to make this.